tea time, I just realized my definition of friendship has changed. Maybe it's because I'm older, so things aren't so dramatic or urgent. I don't need to get everybody's opinion to help figure things out in life anymore. So it's not that I don't like people anymore. It's just that the needs that they have within a friendship, I don't really want to meet. You know, I know that kind of sounds mean, but I'm at a point in my life where I'm really trying not to do anything I don't want to do. Like, I love helping people. I love being supportive. But I only want to do that in the way that I want to do it. Outside of that, I'm not interested. And I realize I don't have to. I'm not trying to please anybody. Like, when I meet new people, it gets kind of tricky, which I try not to meet anybody new. Because I know I'm just going to disappoint them. Because most people define friendships as, oh, come on, let's go to the mall. Let's go to brunch. Come to my birthday dinner. Let's walk arm in arm through the store. Like, they're more looking for a companion. And I don't desire companionship. Not in the world, you know, type of type of place. Like, I don't want to do any of those things. I don't want to go to the mall. I don't want to meet up for coffee or things like that. I just want to be there for you in the real times that you need. Like, I ain't going to come to your birthday dinner. But if you break your leg or if you on um if you on house arrest, I might come sit with you. You know, if you get really, really sick and you have nobody to take care of you, I will come move in with you and, and make sure that you're bathed and stuff like that until you can find somebody else. I'll take those real times, but I don't want to do the social fill-in stuff. Like right now, you know you're my friend if we're mutuals on social and you can DM me. If you can DM me, I consider us to be friends, especially if I respond, because I don't really like people reaching out to me privately. You know, I think that comes from years and years. I've been on social media as a personality for a long time, and I had run several support groups, and people are always asking me questions and stuff. I had to shut a lot of my DMs down. So those who can't access my DMs to be able to ask for resources or ask for advice, I'm willing to, you know, do that. But... I just don't want to feel like overwhelmed with requests, you know? So I just kind of limit myself a lot. And I know I'm not as nice as I used to be. Like, I used to be like tripping over myself, trying to get, you know, be there for people. I don't know if I was trying to prove I was a good person or it was just an instinct to want to take care of people's needs. And nothing bad ain't really happened to me. I just don't want to do that anymore, you know? I can be kind of mean sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I be like, no, I, mm -mm, girl, get out of my face. Like, I, I don't say things right the, the whole time, but I tell you what, if, if your child is missing, you know what I'm saying? If you in the hospital, you know what I'm saying? Or if you having a real, real hard time, that's when I show up for you. If you need resources and you're trying to build your business, you need promotions and we friends, I got you. But the cute stuff, the filler stuff, the, the, you know, I don't want to hear you talk about your man drama. If you got man drama, I can't be your friend. Like, I never want to hear those type of stories. As soon as you tell me you got man drama, and I'm not talking about, like, he get on my nerves. I love to hear that kind of stuff. How about your man get on your nerves? But I'm talking about if this person is, if this man is hurting your feelings, if he's disrespecting you, if he's abusing you, if you tell me that one time, I won't talk to you anymore. Because I'm going to be like, look, we... At this big age, <laughs> there's a line in the sand that I've drawn. And at this age, there's no man that's going to hurt me. You know what I'm saying? They might. They could try. I don't know how, but they could try. But I would not put that much effort, faith, and attention on a man to allow him to emotionally hurt me or completely disappoint me, you know, at any time. And I'm going to need you to cross that line if you want to be in private communication with me because there's so much other stuff to focus on in life you know there's a lot of stuff happening in the world that we can help remedy it's business goals that we can achieve you know it's partnerships that we can form to be able to make a stronger world for women those are the things that I like you know to focus on I want to showcase the women that's doing amazing things I'm with the petty lunches and brunches and I don't need any of that and I just need people to understand <laughs> understand that and, and be like, I ain't trying to be rude or mean and reduce you. But if you're looking for a companion type of friendship, that's not something I have to offer. But if you're looking for a riding partner who's going to make sure you're standing up 
in what you're doing and it's proper and it's promoted, yeah, that's me. And I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that.